Hello, I'm Angelica Gonzalez and this is your Santa Barbara Newswire update. It was a tough audience on the morning of August 11th as Democratic Senator Arlen Specter proposed health care legislations. A hostile and emotional crowd shouted arguments and made angry statements against the proposed health care legislation at a Pennsylvania meeting. In New Hampshire, Obama and Democratic leaders have accused opponents of health care changes of organizing protests intended to draw out the debate. Obama stated that the opponents made wild misrepresentations and false arguments given to undermine health care legislation. Specifically, Obama rejected rumors that a health care bill passed by a House committee including setting up death panels to decide whether senior citizens get treatment. He called spreading such rumors a long-standing practice by opponents of health care reform, such as those who profit under the status quo. Obama stated, what is truly scary, what is truly risky is to do nothing noting that the premiums paid for health care coverage were rising three times faster than wages, and that the Medicare program for senior citizens would run out of money within a decade. He repeated guarantees that a health care overhaul won't force anyone to give up health insurance they liked, and won't cut Medicare benefits. And he stood by his election pledge that he won't raise taxes on people making less than $250,000 a year. At the same time, Obama defended his call for a public option to compete against private insurers. He said such an option would hold down rates, rejecting accusations that it amounted to a government takeover of healthcare because private companies can't compete with a government-funded plan. He called a healthcare overhaul essential for ensuring long-term economic stability while ensuring that all Americans have access to health insurance. Republicans and some Democrats reject the public option, which they believe will lead to a takeover of the healthcare system and prove too costly. Congressional action on healthcare has slowed, because of the indecisive bill that is yet to meet Obama's plan. On a softer note, Twitter, a popular blogging service, is being used to update information on child labor. The wife of Twitter CEO, Sarah Williams, updated messages on Twitter regarding her labor. Williams announced when her water broke and of her need of an epidural. This has caused widespread attention as she is the first to post child labor blogs on Twitter. After a successful childbirth, her husband confirmed on Twitter that his perfect baby boy was born. He said, both are well, 8 pounds, 21 inches, smiles all around. Congrats to the happy family. This has been your Santa Barbara Newswire update. Remember to catch us right here on Channel 21 or visit us online at sbchannels.net. I'm Angelica Gonzalez and you've just been wired.